Now, this race is one of the most watched in the country, figuratively most watched in terms of the number of people paying attention to it, and literally most watched when you consider the number, concentration, and different places we're seeing commercials. Here's one that takes sharp aim, aim at Mr. Braun. Mike Braun in his blue shirt, lying again about his business record. The proof? Braun's own employee handbook. Braun charges his workers $10,000 in out-of-pocket health care deductibles. That's three times higher than the national average. And Braun's plan for you? He wants to deny coverage for pre-existing conditions and supports an age tax that would raise premiums for older Hoosiers. Mike that uh, in three points and, then, and we'll also talk about why this is an important issue to you even though it it's is. one that you have to defend as well. That deductible in that spot yeah. looks daunting. Help me understand okay. it. Explain it. So that was a family deductible. The individual is 5000 Okay. And the only certainty in any insurance plan is the premium you pay for access to the plan mm -hmm. with whatever deductible it is. So what they don't mention is that my premium for an individual, because I want to c compare it to the Obamacare product that Donnelly espouses, mm -hmm. mine is $900. Okay. That is as low as it can get for good coverage. And what it also doesn't say is what kind of plan do you have? Does it expose you to all the high costs of health care, or does it give you tools to keep your costs down? Asked my son just the other day, what is the average employee's entry into the deductible? Mm -hmm. $1,500 a year. So $900 and $1,500 is $2,400. The typical Obamacare plan that's out there with a $5,000 deductible, the premium is nearly $4,000, four to five times as much. So it's way up there. That is where you're distorting and lying uh, on the basis of you know what it costs. You don't have any out-of-pocket expense other than your premium until you start spending for health care. Do you fear though that people will not get the, the care that they should get because they're so fearful of that deductible? No, because mo most deductibles out there uh, that are on the exchange, uh, people are using higher deductibles to keep their premiums down because the only thing that is a certainty when it comes to the health care market is the premium you pay. And if the premium is three, four thousand bucks, before you even get into your deductible, that's more than the premium and the amount my employees get into their deductible. That's kind of getting into the weeds. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is, it is what is, are the incentives in your health care plan? Mine is we pay 100% of wellness. We got a health savings account. And we are focusing on avoiding remediation, and you can't. And then here's the other thing it doesn't say. We don't have any coinsurance. So after the deductible, that's it. Mm. The plans that really break individuals would be the coinsurance. Where they're still paying down the Up road. to a stop loss. We do not have that. All I can tell you is if you compare an individual policy, when the most you can spend is 5000 bucks, and what the average individual on my plan with the premium and their entry into the deductible is 2400 it's one of the best plans out there because it's predictable it is low cost and i've kept it that way for ten years you're not going to get that out of that commercial because they're lying about it and they're distorting it and that's what they've done throughout this whole campaign quick word about uh... pre-existing conditions because that's been such a hot button phrase and yes. I, hate, I hate to have to pin you down briefly on it I, but I we have so you many do need to, do. to pin me down on it do, would you support a protection for pre-existing conditions, whatever form or fashion, subsidized or organized government uh, plans? And here's where I hope people listen most carefully in this whole interview. I did that before Obamacare. When I took on the insurance companies 10 years ago, we covered pre-existing conditions and no cap on coverage. So if it's a half million dollar hospital bill, very unusual, 150 to 200,000, uh, not unusual, my plan covers it because I've taken costs out of it. I would never be for any replacement of Obamacare, Donnelly's plan that's fallen apart if it does not cover pre-existing conditions and no cap on coverage. And I'm not saying it politically, I've done it for 10 years and that's the plan I'm talking about that averages total out of pocket $2,400, including your premium and your entry into the deductible. That, there's nothing better than that out there because we've changed the dynamic. 
People now shop around for their MRIs, their CAT scans, their prescription. None of the other plans encourage that. That's why Obamacare is falling apart.